Chris Lay is no longer with our team. With the team, Chris is going to finish his degree here at Auburn. He's a fine young man. He's going to have a bright future. Uh, Javier Mitchell uh, is a guy that's graduated, and he chose not to come back for next year. Javier is uh, he's ready to start his life and his career. He did a great job for us the last three years, but both those young men are fine young men, uh, and they're going to be very successful uh, in life. Uh, as far as um, some injured guys that's going to be out for the, the spring, Trey Matthews will be out with a, a shoulder uh, injury. Karen Johnson had surgery. He will be out for the spring, and then Jeremiah Denson uh, will be out, out for the spring. Now, on a limited basis, uh, Josh Holsey will be limited. Stanton Truitt will be limited, but they'll be participating as far as that goes. But that's the update on our, our coaches, our off-the-field guys, and our players. But uh, overall, I'd just say our guys are extremely excited to get out there. They've done a super job up to this point with our mat drills uh, in the weight room. Uh, you can tell this is a, this is a very close group. Uh, you can also tell that they got a chip on their shoulder from last year, which I think is very healthy. And, you know, last year we had a very inexperienced team and we had some close losses and, and all that. But these guys, a lot of them are coming back and uh, they're looking forward to getting out there redeeming themselves. And I think that's very important uh, moving forward. As far as spring practice is concerned, we're going to go Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Um, we will do that for two weeks. We'll have five practices. We'll go ahead and take a break during spring break, and then we will come back and we will have ten practices uh, after that. So uh, our coaches and our players, like I said, we're, we're excited. We're, we think we're in a good spot getting ready for spring. So, all right, any questions? You guys, do you remember having a position as thin with experience as you are linebacker now, especially with, with Javi not, not coming back? Yeah, that, that uh, we got some young guys, you know, that we, that they're inexperienced. You know, Trey Williams is the one guy that he's kind of the veteran of the group right now. And, uh, but we feel good about these young guys and there's nothing better than getting reps in the spring. And all those young guys are going to have an opportunity to show what they can do. And of course, you know, we've got some guys we feel very good about. Coach, tell about the players having a chip on their shoulder about last year. Does their coach have a chip on his shoulder oh, about last no year doubt. too? There's no doubt. That's why I'm excited to get out there. And you know, it, it's a new year. It, it, it's a new year, and uh, from a coach's standpoint, especially a head coach's standpoint, you evaluate the things that you know to from last year that you need to improve on. And uh, we know what they are, and we're going to go out there and, and redeem ourselves. And so, um, me personally, I'm excited to get on the practice. <laughs> Gus, what's your plan for the quarterback reps? and how you go get yeah. those out among the four guys. Yeah, we're going to start out, and they're going to have equal reps. Um, you know, we've done that in the past. Uh, we'll chart everything that they do um, in team setting, seven-on-seven seven setting. Uh, give them all a chance to compete. Competition brings out the best in everyone. And, you know, my experience is the longer spring goes on, uh, you know, and you put the guys in different situations. And, and I'm not going to rule out the, the, the chance of going live in spring. You know, we did that two weeks before our season in 2013, and it cleared up things in a hurry. So uh, we'll, we'll see, and, and me and Rep will evaluate, you know, that position on a daily basis. What have you seen, just from, obviously I haven't seen him on the field, but John Franklin, just as far as his approach to things? Yeah, you know, he's off to a good start with Coach Russell. Uh, he had good mat drills um, you know, with our coaches. Uh, I think he is a guy that is very eager, um, and he's done a good job so far of just uh, – being a good teammate, getting to know his his teammates, and you know, so we'll we'll see what he does. You Do surround you? yourself with a lot of familiar <clears throat> names, whether it's graduate assistants, analysts, and you bring up Rob Coleman, a guy you've known for mm -hmm. your entire coaching career. Can you maybe tell me the pros and cons of doing that, and, and why you bring so many familiar names? Just well, you know, Rob is a guy that uh, was with me when we first started out. You know, from a coach, sometimes you you look and. The guys that help you get to where you're at, he's one of those guys. And, uh, you know, he had a great high school career, won a lot of state championships, and he was just ready to, to take the next step to college. He'll do very well. As far as being, um, you know, comfortable and having guys that have been with you, I think there's great value to that. Uh, guys that, uh, you know, know how you operate, uh, played in our system. A lot of them have played. Um, and a lot of guys just been with me a long time. And I think there's 
there's something to that, and uh, it's a comfort. And uh, like I said earlier, our offense is unique, okay? And the more expertise that you have doing something is nothing but a positive. I'm very excited about this offensive staff and, and very comfortable. Was there an issue at all in the last season with that, just as far as everybody being on the same page? No, no. Gus, are you going to push, are you going to make a point to push tempo more this coming season? Yeah, that is that is one of the things that uh, you know we've got to you know you get a chance to evaluate everything and tempo is a big factor with us <clears throat> and at times we didn't have great tempo last year and so we will play extremely fast in the spring and, and just get our guys back in that mode and so looking forward to doing that too. How is uh, Tyler Queen's health and is he going to be monitored? Yeah, he, he will be like on a, on a pitch count of, I think, uh, 50 throws a day. Uh, but everything else, he'll be ready to go. And, you know, that's still a lot of throws, and that's after he warms up. So uh, Coach Lashley will definitely keep up with that. But, you know, he's in a good spot right now. Um, you know, he's excited to get out there and get, get back, um, you know, participating. Sooner than time. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, the, the mentality that you've seen and the, the feedback you've gotten on the mindsets of Jeremy and and Sean, who obviously didn't have the seasons they, they hoped for. Yeah, well, both those guys are, you know, looking forward to a fresh start during spring. Uh, both of them are looking to compete. And, uh, you know, that's that's a great thing about it. Right now, we'll have good competition in that room. And everything they do, we'll make sure we chart, we grade everything, and and uh, see what comes of it. But uh, my experience is when you've got good competition, it make, brings out the best in everybody. And, I expect uh, that quarterback room to do that, you know, this spring. Even the time uh, that Jeremy has been here, and considering what happened last year, what are you looking for him to do this spring? Well, I think Jeremy's just in a spot where, you know, he's ready to get back out there and, and just, uh, it's, a, it's a new year, you know, and he's done a good job of putting last year and even the, when he was successful, the two, he's done, he's put that behind. He is laser focused moving forward and, uh, you know, I, I think there's some freshness with that, and, and he's got that look. And Sean's got that look, too. Um, you know, that, that was last year. This, this is a new year, and that's what we've been preaching to our guys. And uh, you can use those things as far as having that chip on your shoulder to help motivate you, but, but they're, they're moving forward, and, and they're looking forward. And this is a new team, and uh, there's new dynamics to it. Yeah, is there any positions, changes going into spring you're looking at right now? Uh, not right now, but, uh, you know, take the offensive line uh, for, for an example. We will be moving some guys around, especially the first five days. Uh, Coach, Coach Hand has a good plan to give guys different opportunities. And then hopefully after we come back to spring break, we'll have a little bit more, um, you know, position specific once we come back. As far as the rest of the offense, um, you know, you could see, Chandler Cox and Petway getting some reps at tailback. Both those guys played some of that in uh, in, in high school, and we're just looking to get more depth at that position. Uh, as far as defense goes, uh, everything should be status quo the way that uh, that the way they ended. But at the same time, Coach Steele's got the flexibility to to look at some things um, you know, during spring. Gus, uh, did Devin Adams join the team as a walk-on quarterback and? Does he help out at all? Yes, he he he, uh, he will be a walk-on quarterback and <laughs> see, see what he can do. Among those nine newcomers, what are the, what's the feedback you received from Coach Russell on them? What's your plan with them the first couple of weeks? But, you know, the, the good thing is, you know, the nine guys that came in, I mean, that they we have more information about those guys. I've been very impressed personally with the way they've responded to our mat drills. Uh, the way they responded to Coach Russell, he's been he's been impressed too. Because a lot of times, you know, they're getting into something new. Their heads are spinning with everything that goes on. But there's a lot of maturity with that group, um, and that's a good thing. So we're excited about spring practice, seeing how they get out there and compete. And you know, there, there's quite a few of those guys that could help us next year. So uh, you know, we'll know more after spring. But. We feel very good about the group. And we've got great reports about how they're doing off the field, too, academically, uh, socially, everything that goes with it. Is Kyle Davis a guy who could compete immediately out there once he gets out there? He's got the ability. I mean, you know, the he's got that ability that um, you know, could definitely help us next year. But 
kind of comes back to what I said, you know, just the earn it attitude, and he understands that. I guess with so much transition on defense coaching-wise, do you anticipate a little bit of feeling out adjustment period for your coaching staff, or do you feel like they know how you guys want to practice and how you can get right into it? Yeah, I think so. You know, Coach Steele is a veteran guy, and, uh, you know, he there is quite a bit of carryover as far as uh, the foundation of our defense last year. Um, but from a coaching standpoint, there's nothing better than getting out there and competing against each other and getting used to working together. But all those guys are, are true professionals, and uh, you know they're all going the same direction. That's what's what's exciting for me. Yes, Kyle had their pro- limited it all with his shoulder. Kyle Davis limited it all with his shoulder. He, he could be limited some. We're going to see how that happens. But he has really done a good job uh, with his transition from his minor, um, you know, surgery uh, earlier in the year. Can you? Uh, with, with 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 all the with the new coaches and all those things on defense, how different is it going to be for the players from what they what they had last year? How hard is it going to be for them to get accustomed to something so new? Well, you know that player coach relationship. There's nothing better than going out on the field and getting used to each other and the expectations, you know, for for each position coach. So um, I, I will say this. Uh, our defensive coaches and our offensive coaches, the new ones that have gotten here, have done a very good job of spending time with our guys, trying to get to know them, developing that relationship, and telling the expectations. But, uh, you know, there's nothing better than getting out there. And so it'll be good to see that, you know, how our guys respond to each coach and, and all that. How different is the defense, just schematically? There's going to be some differences, but the foundation kind of from the same tree, you know, as far as the foundation of the defense, which I think will be very good for our players, 